Say hi. Hi. So Olive and I are here today playing with toothpicks and marshmallows so that we can understand Fibonacci, although she is just understanding how to make popsicles. Hi. When we think about Fibonacci normally, first you have zero, and then zero creates one. I used a really big marshmallow here because as you'll see soon, it was necessary. So, and one goes, oh look, there's one. I'll create another one. And technically it's supposed to be just like each other, but we'll just imagine they're all the same size for now. And then one looks back and goes, oh, there's one, two, and boop, boop, creates two. And then two looks back and goes, oh, there's one there and two there, so let's create three, boom, boom, boom. And then three looks back and sees two and thinks one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's the foundation of Fibonacci. You add the previous two numbers together to get the following number in the sequence. What they see in nature is that a lot of matter in its development mimics Fibonacci. For example, sunflowers and beehives are two of the most common ones. Um, Veronica or Romanesco, which is a type of broccoli that spirals, is another one. Now, when we look at Fibonacci, when we look at the sequence, we often see it portrayed in a linear way like this. So I got to thinking when I was reading this article that Fibonacci also shows up in quantum matter. And I've been running this theory that maybe quantum matter is not a separate thing from matter. Maybe it's the foundations of matter. Don't eat my Fibonacci <laughs> with your little fingers. So we use this one as the origin molecule. And most times when we examine the Fibonacci speak sequence, we examine, we say the origin molecule creates one. Yes, it creates one, but what if it creates one a multitude of times? So yeah. it creates one, 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 one. And that every one creates two, 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 two. So like if you look down at this molecule, this mo or this point particle, number two, or excuse me, number one, has created two sets of two. Okay. So then we look at each set of two will create three. So as you can see, you see this amazing growth occur. So if you think about that origin molecule, and now you see why I used the big marshmallow, because there's going to be a lot of toothpicks stuck in it, mm. it just continues to create and create and create, but that it would eventually become a solid-shaped sphere. So I am going to stop here today and let you think about the implications of Fibonacci on a quantum level. And um, there was a paper by Sergio Falcone from the Department of Mathematics in, the, in Spain at the University of Las Palmas who talked about 3D space and Fibonacci and um, also referenced that it was so detectable on the, yes, there we go, detectable. These are, these are Maeve's popsicle, 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 and then we have our crazy creature. So, in any case... And there, so I think, is the origins yeah. of the universe demonstrated in marshmallows, quantum so matter. Head. Then, here's the magic part that we didn't show you yet. So once you get to the three, three, let's go, ah, oh, three-dimensional, three-dimensional space, maybe that by the time all of these critters have created their stuff, we are at three-dimensional space, at which time it is necessary to have gravity. Gravitational laws do not apply at the quantum level because okay. it's not quite three-dimensional yet, or at least has large enough three-dimensional oppositional charge <laughs> or equal and opposite spin directions, which when we see Fibonacci, it actually develops into spirals. So three-dimensional spirals are called the golden spiral, or, and when you look at them, they rotate both inward and outward simultaneously. So what if every one of these developed a spiral know? that rotated inward and outward simultaneously? Then once you got to a certain point, which is usually at 21, I believe, in the Fibonacci sequence, that you have gotten to your three-dimensional space where you'll have two equal and opposite interactions and two opposing charge spins. And then you create gravity. Ta-da!